Pada Prabhu by saying three times loudly, Haribo! 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 So Bhagavatam is such a lucid Quran and it is called as Amal Puran. So we'll see today what Dhritarashtra was asked by Vidura to quit his residence and why. Okay, let's start. Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Yashodhanandana Bhaja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Piravana Chari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gati Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Yato Dhananjana Vaja Jana Vanjana Yamana Piravana Chari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gati Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Hare Thank <laughs> you. 
ಶ್ರೀಗುರುವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀಪಂ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಗನ ರಘುನಾಥ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪದ ಸಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾಂಬಿತಾಂಶಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದಾನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೌರ್ತ್ವಶೇ ನಮಃ ಪಂಚತತ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತೂಪಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಭಕ್ತಾವತಾರ ಭಕ್ತಾಖ್ಯಾ ನಮಿ ಭಕ್ತಶಕ್ತಿ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನ ಬಾಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗು ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರೇ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯ ಅಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತೀರ್ಭುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೇರ್ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತೀರ್ನಷ್ಟಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಮಾಧವ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ with the blessing and mercy of shri shri radha madhav i will try to speak about three verses which are given today we were talking about kal that is eternal time which is one of the energy of the world so to begin with the verse will take one example what has happened in india there was a heart surgeon a renowned heart surgeon and he was known for his fame and he was having a project for heart surgeries he was building hospital it was almost ready about to inaugurate but before that inauguration happens while traveling in the car he had a heart attack and nobody could save him the eternal time tall has pounds on him even he had all facilities all knowledge and hospital of no use everything was withdrawn taken away from him the spot of movement and he has to surrender everything he has to give up even his life this was further narrated when i was traveling from radha gopina temple to my residence at mira road where radha kirdari temple is there 
So his friend was saying, he was also a heart surgeon, and he was saying, we couldn't do anything. We tried our real best, but it, it was not in our hand. And ultimately he has agreed. The Kaal is there and nobody can arrest the action of Kaal. Nobody can counteract. And this is what we are going to discuss today. We'll start with the verse by verse instead of all three together so that I can try to throw some light on it. So we'll start with verse 13 is from Canto 1, chapter 13, verse 19. Pratikriya nayas seha kutash kitkar hichir prabho saisha bhagavan kalaha sarvesha nam samagataha translation the frightful situation cannot be remedied by any person in the material world my lord it is a supreme personality of godhead as eternal time kal that has approached us all so here background is vidura is asking Dhritarashtra, when he came from his pilgrim and he didn't want his brother Dhritarashtra to suffer. So he is addressing to Dhritarashtra. So the purport by his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, there is no superior power which can shake the cruel hands of death. No one wants to die, however, Acute, the source of bodily suffering may be. Even in the days of so called scientific advancement of knowledge, there is no remedial measure either for old age or for death. Old age is the notice of arrival of death, served by the cruel time, and no one can refuse to accept either summon calls or the supreme judgment of eternal time. This is explained before Dhritarashtra because he might ask Vidura to find out some remedial measure for the imminent fearful situation. As he had ordered many times before, before ordering, however, Vidura is formal, formed Dhritarashtra informed Dhritarashtra that there was no remedial measures by anyone or from any source in this material world. And because there is no such thing in the material world, that is identical with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as it is said by Lord himself in Bhagavad Gita 10.34. Death cannot be checked by anyone or from any source within this material world. Hiranyakashipu wanted to be immortal and underwent a severe type of penance by which the whole universe trembled. And Brahma himself approached him to dissuade Hiranyakashipu from such a severe type of penance. Hiranyakashipu asked Brahma to award him the blessing of immortality. But Brahma said that he himself was subject to death. Even in the topmost planet, so how could he award him the benediction of immortality? So there is the death even in the topmost planet of this universe. And what to speak of other planets which are far, far inferior in quality to Brahma love. The residing planet of Brahma, wherever there is influence of eternal time, there is this set of tribulations, namely birth, disease, old age, and death, and all of them are invincible. So this is verse number 19. So we'll try to discuss 
about this verse. So it says that death cannot be counteracted by anyone. It is Supreme Lord as a Kal who has approached us all. Everyone dies. It is said in Gujarati, Rake Krishna Mare Ke and Mare Krishna Rake Ke. Means if the Lord wants to protect, then whatever you try, whatever anyone try to do, nobody can kill him. Nobody can give him punishment. He will be protected. Example, Prahlad Maharaj. And Mare Krishna Rake Ke. Whatever you try to do, if Krishna decided that you should die, nobody can protect you. Example from Mahabharata. Does anyone know any example? Jayadrath. Yeah, was almost, he, he, he has almost um, achieved it. And Arjun was to go, but Krishna wanted that Jayadrath should be killed. And he died. So similarly, there is no guarantee or protection in the material world. Nobody can give guarantee and protection. Like in this case of that doctor, heart surgeon, nobody could save him. Even a heart surgeon sitting next to him couldn't save him. Save him. I mean, you see that how to deal with the heart patient, how to revive him, how to recoup him. Everybody knows all. But the surgeon, greatest surgeon, his friend couldn't do anything. <laughs> Everyone, every day, thousands of people die. But in spite of that, everybody is living as it is not going to die. This is the greatest wonder in this world. That is what Yudhishthir said. We have to be prepared to leave this body, else we will be bewildered. How many of us, including myself, is preparing to leave this body? But the latest example, as we were discussing about the Pandav Prabhu, he is the most ideal example. He was preparing to leave his body right there in front of his deities and reading about the Pandavas. His name is Pandav Prabhu. So this is how we have to prepare for our death. And death is certain, imminent. Everyone has to undergo and face it. So we should prepare. And he said in Bhagavatam, anybody relates him with the body will become fearful. Now find out how many times we are afraid in our life, daily life, of the situation. Are we fearless? If not, if we are fearful that that means we are still our portion of it in bodily concept. That has to be removed. Then it says, our Mahatma Vidur is like Mahatma Vidur Srila Prabhupada also gave us advice on spiritual life. And who by his own example shown us how to leave this body. We have to prepare as given in Bhagavad Gita. It is already mentioned here. That is, Antakale Chamameva Smaran Mukta Kalevaram Yap Prayati Samad Bhavo Yasina Satra Samshay. So, and whoever at the end of his life quits his body, remembering me alone at once attain my nature. Of this, there is no doubt. So this is an example. Yesterday's example is there right in front of us. It's just a coincidence, this verse and that happened. Good, excellent example for all of us. So we'll take the next verse, verse 20.
Translation. Who, whoever is under the influence of Supreme Kala, that is eternal time, must surrender his most dear life and what to speak of other things such as wealth, honor, children, land, and home. A great Indian scientist busy in the plan making business was suddenly called by invincible eternal time while going to attend a very important meeting of the planning commission. And he had to surrender his life, wife, children, house, land, wealth, etc. During the political upsurge of, in India and its divisions into Pakistan and Hindustan, so many rich and influential Indians had to surrender life, property, and honor due to the influence of time. And there are hundreds and thousands of examples like that all over the world, all over the universe, which are all if effects of the influence of time. Therefore, the conclusion is that there is no powerful living being within the universe who can overcome the influence of time. Many poets have written verses lamenting the influence of time. Many devastations have taken place over the universes due to the influence of time. And no one could check them by any means. Even in our daily life, so many things come and go, and which we have no hand. But we have to suffer or tolerate them without a remedial measure. That is the result of time. One example I can give. We had a get together, all college students meeting after 30 years. And in the get together, we were all joined and we decided that soon we'll plan another get together. One fine morning, I got a phone call from one of friend's wife, say that, cannot help it, you have to come immediately. I said, what happened? He said that your friend had a massive heart attack last night, 11.30. And we tried everything we couldn't revive. He already left. Might be well that person was held, healthy and no complaints about the heart. His doctor has already said that he can have a good health for many, many years because he was practicing yoga, pranayam. And he was the devotee of Gayatri. He was performing Gayatri mantras daily. So that means the Kal has its own way. Whatever time is being allotted to you in this material world, that you can have. So regarding this verse, the time force everyone to surrender. Time forces, the Kal forces you to surrender. But if you fail to surrender, then you have to come and follow the cycle of birth and death. But you are not sure in which yoni or which birth, which kind of birth you will get. You can become a cat, dog, anything, tree. So when it death comes, your wealth is gone, your honor is gone, you lose your children, land is gone, home, and ultimately your life also goes. When once Kal comes, all one's security and dearest pran leaves. So how the pran living that you can read in details in Sriman Bhagavatam in the Puranjan story. 
right? So Vidura didn't have to teach anything to Pandava because he was sure that Pandava are following the instructions properly and any time, any moment, then they can get detached. So, it says that Kal surpasses temporary things. All these are temporary, isn't it? Honor, home, health, wealth. When Jiva identifies with the temporary things, as I already said, Bhagavatam says that he creates fear for him. In spiritual world, there is no question of losing or separating as everything is eternal. The Lord is also there. You are associating, serving the Lord there. There are four scenarios that can occur in regards to association. Which are there? The first is matter to matter. There is association of matter to matter. Your body with the other people's body or something. You are coming in contact, making group or something. But in due course of time, it will get separated. If a wife and husband are living on the material platform, the one day wife has to go or husband has to go. Then the second stage is Jiva identifies himself with body and engrossed and get engaged in the self-gratification every moment trying to enjoy. Third, he makes progress and comes to a Brahman platform. But he is at Brahman platform in the liberated kind of a condition. But he has not yet achieved the constitutional position, his constitutional position, that is as a servant of the Supreme Lord. He has not achieved. And the fourth position is a girl's, which is there in the spiritual world, that is to achieve the, your constitutional position. By practicing sadhana bhakti, following the instructions of Guru, with the sincere japa, you can, with the help of Guru's mercy and senior Vaishnava's mercy, blessings, you can achieve. And that will be, even in this lifetime, you will see that the pure devotees, they are achieving it. And then, therefore, them it is not difficult. They easily transcend the material world into the spiritual world. Now it is given in Srimad Bhagavatam 11 Canto how difficult it is to enter into the spiritual world when Krishna was taking Arjuna to find out the children of Brahmanas which were aborted, which were getting aborted. And the Brahman has challenged and Arjuna has accepted the challenge and Krishna has to protect him. Because if he can do it, he has to surrender himself to the fire. So this is there in Ellen Cap. So we have to come in touch with Krishna's name, procedure is given, and Krishna's form, along with Krishna's pastimes and glorifying Lord and Guru. And this is the way to go from this material consciousness. There are Kala Shakti, which nobody can have a solution. Kala Shakti. This is, these are the things which are temporary. And the other is Bhakti Shakti, pure devotional service. And by this, Jiva can attain his eternal position, Hare Krishna. That is his constitutional position. And he says, the little bhakti of Jiva, which is added to the Ladini Shakti. You know, the Ladini Shakti, everybody knows it. Then Krishna accepts that service. When Krishna accepts your service, you are on the way to your ultimate goal. And what is the ultimate goal of life for everyone? 
ultimate goal of life for everyone i was reading bible and just somebody has given some kind of a, a small clip it so i read it and it says that the best verse is that where it said lord a god love him achieve the love of lord of god and what is what we call is achieve the love of lord krishna love him serve him that is krishna prem the ultimate goal of life is krishna prem so this is in short about the shrimad bhagavatam and coming to the last verse that is verse 21 Canto 1, Chapter 13, Verse 21. Pitru Bhatri Yusu Vrut Putra Hastati Vigatam Vayam Atma Chajaraya Grasta Paragiha Mupasasi Translation Vidura is now saying to Dhritarashtra He says, "Your father, your brother, your well-wishers, and sons are all dead and passed away. You yourself have extended the major portion of your life. You yourself have expended the major portion of your life. Your body is now overtaken by invalidity." and you are living in the home of another so your body is now overtaken by invalidity means your body is no longer like a, it was previously it is useless now it cannot do any perform physical so the king is reminded of this precarious condition influenced by the cruel time now see here a time though is supreme lord is referred as cruel time kal and kal is given in shrimad bhagavatam as one of the part of destruction like here he is become cruel and he is killing non devotees kal also referred when this comes the devastation end of brahma's life even brahma is not spared he has to give up he cannot protect himself if time comes he has to and by his past experience he should have been more intelligent to see what was going to happen to his own life his father that is dusrash father vichitra virya died long ago when he and his younger brothers were all little children and it was due to the care of care and kindness of bhishma deva that they were properly brought up then again his brother pandu died also then in a battlefield of kurukshetra his 100 sons and his grandsons all died along with all other well wishers like bhishma dev dronacharya karna and many other kings and friends so he lost all men and money and now he was living in the mercy of his nephew who he had put into troubles of various types and despite all these reverses he thought that he would prolong his life more and more vidura wanted to point out to dhritarash that everyone has to protect himself by his action and the grace of the lord one has to execute his duty faithfully depending for the result of supreme authority no friend no children no father no brother no state and no one else can protect a person 
who is not protected by the supreme lord one should therefore seek the protection of the supreme lord for the human form of life is meant for seeking the protection he was warned of his precarious condition more and more by following words so here he was said to rutrashtra that no longer you can fight anything nobody can repair the situation nobody can extend your life you are already spent now we can understand we don't know how much there is algebra we say that everybody is living his life for x years and everybody knows how much year he has spent so what is the left for us is x minus whatever like my age is 67 so x minus 67 but i don't know x but one thing is sure that x is certain i am going to die when the car will pounce on me and i am to leave nobody knows it even i don't know it country parikshit knew it he was cursed that within 7 days so we have to be alert we should wake up get up example i can tell you x can be anything our neighbor i stayed at mira road where bhakti vedant hospital is there radha girdari is there we were going to the temple and that particular boy his age was 26 month he was also god conscious the name is garg and i noticed suddenly that boy since a month i go for morning walk he is desperately walking going around his building taking rounds and i was a little bit curious so one day i approach him and say that uh, i notice you are walking daily and suddenly i notice a change in you what is the special about you and obviously this boy was quite fat but suddenly there was change in mind and then he told me that i have to reduce my weight doctor has told me reduce my weight it just 26 years and after a week i got a news from my doctor who stays in that building she said that gurk son has already left his body at the age of 26 and the reason given was a heart attack and the big hospital is just in the vicinity of couple of kilometers that is around 1.3 or 1.4 miles and they have a car they have all vehicles but the car has come and he is taken away him nobody could make him to survive or bring him back he left so this x can be 26 x can be 50 x can be 70 it can be 90 anything so how much time we have left we don't know but certain we have to leave call will come and we will have to leave the body so we have to get ready it says dharma shastra and bhakti shastra may tell same stories you know we see that we say that so many people argue so many people talk discuss they based on the dharma shastra they will quote but dharma shastra and bhakti shastra may tell the same stories but the emphasis and essence is different the stories and explanation by dharma shastra and bhakti shastra are different the class because the class of people intended it differently other scriptures may do character portrayal of devotees in a way which may not be nourishing for the devotional service so we will find that there are other ways other plans other ways 
other devotional activities people are doing some are doing demigod worship some are doing different yoga ashtanga yoga whatever way they are but the approach are different and it's not guaranteed not sure unless and until it is related to lord vishnu some siddhi hari krishna unless and until it is done you own it won't encourage you for the devotional service and devotional service is the most important thing is required here in the canto third same further discussion is there between maitreya muni and vidur and maitreya muni saying to vidur that whatever you are doing perfectly maybe but there is no yagya lingo to please janardan mind well i'll repeat there is no pleasing of janardan when lord krishna is referred as yagya lingo then all efforts done by you is just a waste so what is our objective what is our job to do go in front of a deity and find out at least ask them once are you satisfied with whatever service i am rendering like that we used to say previously how can i serve you to please you how can i serve you so whenever go in front of a deity i notice many of us go can just offer to the deity and say but do we take a little more few seconds and ask deity sit in front of us everybody is in hurry they want to go for job even i have seen one house the person was in such a hurry he has offered and within few seconds he has removed the plate so unless and until we perform yagya lingo and please janardan unless and until we please radha madho all efforts we we are doing is not useful would not be fruitful what is the solution what is yagya lingo in kali yuga what is given in kali yuga hare naam hare naam hare naam kevalam kalo nasti kalo nasti kalo nasti gati rakta hari naam and what is boils to it boils to our japa hari krishna maha mantra japa and sankirtan i think saturday in lester they are having hari naam sankirtan and everybody is chanting their rounds daily at home so you can understand how important chanting is and that is what we have to take care of it. thank you very much hari krishna hari ba so if anyone has any comment or any anything he want to add based on his realization experience can go ahead if you have any question you can ask that whatever or if you don't have a question then i will have to ask you a question yes prabhu prabhu you have to come a little forward because i won't be able to hear you yes um, my question is as we're trying to be the god we this material world and so externally we have to go through the same thing you know this life is not for living we will leave our body etc how um how it is to those who then to uh, interpret that or experience that knowing that you know devotional service uh, is eternal 
So you mean that how to bring it into the practical? Whatever we are saying, reading, giving the class. So that is exactly the second point I wanted to say, but I thought that probably let it come from your side. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada, <laughs> once Prabhupada was giving a class and his disciple approached him. He said, Prabhupada, I want to go back home, back to Bade, this lifetime only. And Prabhupada looked at him, he said, why not? Yes, you can. So he was a little bit puzzled. He said, he, he has heard, he has said so many classes, so many lectures and say it is very difficult and this people narrating. We say, how Prabhupada? There were two simple things are required to go back home, back to Bade. One is you are Japa. And second is Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Means you have to listen to Srimad Bhagavatam daily. For example, you are listening to Srimad Bhagavatam. So we will try to explain it, these two things, how it can be practically applied in our life. Japa. We heard of Japa. It is given in the third canto by Maitri Muni to Vidura. It says, how can we achieve our goal in life? Prayojan, that is Krishna Pri. He said, not difficult. Glorify the Lord. Glorify Radha Madhav. Meaning why pastimes of Radha Madhav. And the other way of glorifying is Sankirtan. Or Japa. But he, Acharya Devripa, but whatever I got it, this is what I will call you. The revelation from the both Bhagavatam to me. No, I don't I boast in anything. But this is what I understood. It. That is the real Unless until you get realization, you will not get focused and attached to Bhagavatam. The taste of Bhagavatam, I mean, I cannot describe it. It is so much, so sweet. For him, it is difficult to use. So in the process he was given, whenever he was starting Japa, whenever he was starting Japa, first think about the Lord, Radha Manu. You are serving Radha Manu, think about Radha. Now, when Radha Manu, you are thinking is, you will say how it can be thought. So you can think in mind, right now, I'm looking at the beautiful picture of Radha Krishna along with gopis. So Lord is there. Here Radha Madhav is there. And then he says, Maitri Muni says to Vidura, focus on the lotus feet of the Lord. Their lotus feet are visible. Their feet are visible. So once you focus on the lotus feet of the Lord, then what happens in your life? The lotus feet of life, the Lord becomes like an umbrella. You know, umbrella, use of umbrella, if it is raining. I asked my grandson, Raghav, I say, we are going with the umbrella. What is the use of umbrella? He says, Nanu, with the help of umbrella, I will not become wet. You will not become wet. You will be protected. So it is said, the Lord's feet becomes like an umbrella in the material world means was. Whatever things are showering on you in the form of problems, difficulties, troubles, or material distress, you just bliss them. Frustration, fear, whatever it is. All this is showered on you. By whom? By the servant of Lord in the form of Maya, because you are entering into the sense gratification. All this falls on the umbrella that is lotus feet of Lord. And when it falls on it, it will not wait you. You will not be attacked by all this trouble. They all will be thrown out. And he said with Greatest love, start chanting, glorifying. 
now when we start chanting first beat after doing how much time it will take whatever procedure i say think about the lord lotus feet look at the lord with the umbrella and start chanting with immense love like i take a, and i chant with great love hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare when it is chanting with great love maitreni muni says to vidura the moment you utter it is there in other jiva goswami's sandarbhas that the moment you utter the name of lord krishna with love like i say radha madhav the radha madhav will be immediately attracted if somebody is calling him and that is get connected you are getting connected as a soul you are connected with radha madhav that is sambandha while chanting you establish the sambandha connection now all, all electricity went off suppose and somebody started checking there is no light why because there is no sambandha the power which is generated is not connected then electrician goes and he finds there is a fuse so he puts the fuse in probably this happens in our condition the next day morning when we go the connection is not there <laughs> so he puts the fuse and they get such connection sambandha and the moment it get the sambandha and then you start the procedure what is the procedure of chanting that is comes in a part of abhidhi mind well this is not me this is what i realized from the shrimad bhagavatam third canto and once in the abhidhi what you are doing chanting hare krishna mahamantra whatever prescribe rounds etc etc and for what what is your prayojan what do you want for doing chanting what do you want you want krishna prem as a goal of life so this is exactly prabhupad said that chant your own sincerely which you are chanting along with me prabhupad used to chant and every disciple used to sit right in front of his chanting if you listen the tape you hear sit right right sit right and he used to give shrimad bhagavatam class and disciple used to attend it and that is the procedure and that is the best way to achieve the aim in our life as krishna prem so there is no fear so as i already said in bhagavatam if you are attached to your body then there will be fear if you are not attached and do everything as a service to radha madhav whatever it is coming even the trouble which is coming you accept it okay if you have a one two minutes i can explain that also how to take it now the trouble in your life is like a chinta beda bed trouble is just like a, is inevitable you simply cannot avoid it is coming everybody has to face it in material life a pain and sorrow is there for a king also and for a person who is in the bigger pain is there something is going wrong in pain full situation or is paining his body and sorrow is there suffering is not nobody is permanently happy but achinda beda bed means some people take it you positively and some people take negatively if you say to a person that pain and sorrow is in uh, inevitable it is definitely bound to come then say it's a pessimist he is a negative thinker but actually if you look at the bhagavatam prayers of queen quinti what she says she doesn't say that lord please be merciful 
give me plenty of uh, happy life you give this he said that let calamity not only uh, pain and sorrow calamity fall on me again and again and again and again so that i can remember you and focus my mind on your lotus feet that's a positive way of thinking rather than the non devotees so for devotees whatever happens comes should welcome it and accept it and go through it because whatever it is just dharma shastra say whatever it is is temporary to end up with it when if you are traveling suppose i am coming from india to uk a lot of anxiety there there are lot of things to be completed a lot of things to be done excitement is there etc but if radha madhav desire that i should reach here then where is the problem where is the problem whose whose problem will be it is not no more your problem so whenever you are practicing working living bhagavat life bhagavat dharma for the your ishta deities then lord will take care of you so similarly close and conclude our today's discussion with pandav prabhu what happened at the time of he left his body the glorious death he was right in front of his deities and glorifying the past times of the lord and his devotees lovable devotees pandavas were lovable devotees of lord krishna thank you very much hari krishna hari yes. bol shrimad bhagavatam ki hari bol